Hi and uh, hello everyone. Today we will discuss third method of finding out mean that is step deviation method. I am taking exercise 14.1 fourth sum. 30 women are examined in a hospital by a doctor and their heartbeats per minute were recorded and summarized as shown. Find the mean heartbeats per minute of these women choosing a suitable method. So here I am taking step deviation method. I am going to explain you about step deviation method. How to find out mean using step deviation method. Okay. Here the data given is number of heartbeats per minute 65 to 68. Number of women are 2. 68 to 71, 4, 71 to 74, 3, 74 to 77, 8, 77 to 87, 80 to 83, 4 women, 83 to 86, 2 women are there. For this data, we are going to find out mean using step deviation method. Here this is class interval, this is frequency fi, in the third column we have to find out xi that is mid values of class intervals. How to find out mid values of class intervals? You already know that. How to find out average of lower boundary and upper boundary that is 65 plus 68 by 2 we will get 133 by 2 that is is equal to 66.5 so here the mid value of this class is 66.5 in the same way if we find out this we will get 69.5 here 72.5 next 75.5 next 78.5 81.5 and last 84.5 these are the mid values in this manner we have to calculate for all next column is we will be having Next column is we will be having a ui, ui is equal to xi minus a by h. Now what is this h? h is nothing but height of the class interval. How to find out the height of the class interval? h is equal to upper boundary minus lower boundary that implies 68 minus 65 height is equal to 3 right now what you will get here u i is equal to x i firstly we have to consider any one class i am taking this as a assumed mean so this is a so xi minus a 66.5 minus 75.5 by h is 3 that is minus 9 by 3 we will get minus 3 so that means here i have to write minus 3 understood in the same way here if I do the same calculation I will get minus 2 here I will get minus 1 here I will get 0 1 2 and 3 okay so this is how you get the values if I consider this as the assumed mean here I will get a 0 corresponding to the assumed mean 
upwards i'll get minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and downwards i'll get 1 2 and 3 positive so next column is i have to multiply fi into ui fi into ui 2 into minus 3 next 4 into minus 2 3 into minus 1 8 into 0 7 into 1 4 into 2 2 into 3 so what the answers will get 2 into minus 3 is minus 6 this is minus 8 minus 3 this is equal to 0 this is equal to 7 this is equal to 8 and this is equal to 6 so here I can cancel minus 6 and 6 I can cancel minus 8 and 8 so what I am having remaining is 7 minus 3 that is equal to 4 this is sigma fi ui and this is sigma fi this is if we add all this we will get 30 right so this is the table so formula for step deviation method is mean is equal to a plus sigma fi ui by sigma fi into h here we have a is equal to 75.5 then sigma fi ui is equal to 4 sigma fi is equal to 30 and h is equal to 3 right substitute all this in this formula what we will get 75.5 plus fi ui is 4 by fi is 30 into h is 3 right so cancellation 3 ones are 3 tens are So what we get 75.5 plus 4 by 10. So that is equal to 75.5. 4 by 10 is 0 0.4. That is equal to 75.9. So this is the mean. Okay. This is how we find out mean using step deviation method.